Welcome Year 11 parents. Uh, we hoped to um, give you some information today just in preparation for your telephone consultations with your, your uh, form teachers. I know that your sons have started their GCSE courses and that will bring some anxiety for you. So we have a number of people who want to speak to you and just give you a little bit more detail about the plans that we have. It's very important for us. We're very keen that your sons are not disadvantaged in any way um, by the current uh, pandemic and the, the various uncertainties that there are in education at the minute. So without further ado, I'll hand over to Ms. Farquhar, um, who's Vice Principal Curriculum, and she'll uh, talk you through some of our plans. Good afternoon. Um, I'll start just by a little reminder that some of your sons will have uh, important exams in the new year and uh, Mr Carlyle will speak to you shortly about the plans that we have in place to facilitate some preparation for those. Obviously all of your sons courses now are really important and the tests and common assessments as he goes along it's really important that he is banking as good grades as he can in those. Each week prior to test week, we have a focus on revision and skill. And prior to that, um, teachers work with your sons in each class and through pastoral period. Um, his form teacher will work with him about successful strategies to prepare for exams. And we have lots of resources on each year group channel. And please do have a conversation with your son's form teacher about how you can encourage him to come into school with a positive mindset for learning. Because certainly as that learning uh, builds throughout the year, that will really stand him in good stead for the final exams. But it is really important to note that a lot of the assessment for the BTEC subjects is ongoing. But for those examination subjects, the better he prepares as he goes along, the more able he will be to recall that information in final exams in the summer. So whilst there is uncertainty for some pupils, particularly in year 12 and 14, um, we have plans in place to ensure that all pupils, including your sons in year 11, will leave us with really good outcomes that give him really good pathways to progression. Most of our pupils do return to us in sixth year and we hope that for your sons as well, because we believe that that is a really good chance for them to do the best that they can. So I'll hand over to Mr. Carlyle. He'll talk to you about a little more of the detail for his preparation um, for success in the exams in January, the school exams in February, and then in the summer. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. In preparation for the exams in January, your sons will be sitting exams in BTEC Public Services, BTEC Hospitality, and BTEC Travel and Tourism. The three days of three of the days in the last week of term are the timetables are going to be collapsed to allow exam preparation in those three areas. Also, because of the bubbling system in school and the zoning system in school, year 11 haven't been able to get a lot of the practical subjects um, done properly in terms of getting into a workshop or getting into a kitchen. We'll also be doing that on those three days to give boys as much preparation and as much time to do the practical subjects because that's a really vital component of the occupational studies courses. As well as that, um, double award science classes will be running and that will give the pupils a chance to do some of the experiments again and witness some of them and write them up again. They haven't been able to do that because of the COVID situation in school. Those three days are vital. They provide really intensive support and really intensive revision sessions for your son to get prepared for the exams in January. And this is really important because this is the first time that many of your sons will have actually sat an external GCSE in the hall under um, exam conditions. So I'm going to hand over now to Mr. Alone, who's the head of Year 11, and he's just going to talk you through what can be expected on the phone calls on Thursday, Tuesday afternoon. Afternoon, everyone. Um, would like to start by saying as strange as at times I'd love to meet you face to face, but unfortunately we have to do this. This way, on the phone tomorrow afternoon, you will get a, hopefully a comprehensive update as to how your son is performing in each of his GCSE subjects. Uh, from that, if you have any concerns around his academic progress or any pastoral concerns, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me as soon as you can via the, the school office, because of early intervention at this point with any support that we'd be able to provide 
would be key in making sure that they make the correct progress that they're wanting to achieve or they're maintaining to achieve the potential in their GCSE exams. Uh, I'm now going to pass over to Mrs Montgomery. Thanks very much, Mr O'Lone. Oh, take my visor off. Um, so just a final word from me. Um, myself, Ms Farquhar, Mr Carlisle and Mr O'Lone will all be available throughout the, the uh, telephone conversations with the form teacher should you wish to speak with any of us. Very best wishes.